You're watching TV 20 News 530 Live with Paige Beck and David Snyder. This is TV 20 News in High Definition. Welcome back. It's not quite a nest of vipers, but it's just as dangerous. A swarm of yellow jackets can not only hurt, but can kill. They certainly hurt five children in Marion County just last week who were playing near their home. This could be a growing problem this summer. David finds out why in tonight's Family Spotlight. David? Thank you, Paige. Here with me tonight is Dr. Phil Kaler. He's an urban entomology professor at IFAS at the University of Florida. First of all, I know we have a hornet's nest here that we want to look at shortly, but first of all, let's talk about yellow jackets. Where and, and how do they live? Yeah, yellow jackets uh, live in the ground, and normally they'll build their nest in the ground, and if you're walking out in the woods or your kids are playing out in the woods, there's a chance that they're going to be able to, uh, that they're going to step in a yellow jacket nest. And of course, that could be a life-threatening situation for some children because they may be allergic to the sting. How do you recognize the nest, though, if it's just kind of there's leaves scattered over, over the place and it's, it's camouflaged in that way? Actually, it's very difficult to recognize the nest. You really should scout out the area uh, that, uh, that maybe isn't used very often around your house underneath trees. The yellow jackets will be coming and going, uh, leaving the nest and going back. And you have to look for that because the nest itself is mostly going to be underground and it's going to be almost impossible to see the nest itself. Well, are and yellow jackets inclined to attack, though, if you do step? on that nest? Oh, when you step on the nest, they're going to defend that nest uh, vigorously, and you may have several thousand yellow jackets come out and sting you. A small nest may contain like 300 yellow jackets, but a large nest can get up to 100,000. And right now, what we have are some of the nests that have overwintered. Usually, a uh, nest will only last one year, but the ones that have overwintered are now growing in size, getting larger, and they'll keep on getting larger until September, October, or November when we start getting cold weather. So right now is just the tip of the iceberg. They're going to get much larger and much more dangerous before they die. Let me clarify. When you say overwintered, that means they survived the winter? Right. Uh, normally a queen will die off after one year. Mm -hmm. She has a lifespan of one year. But sometimes what happens is the, the, the queen will live into the next year and then they'll adopt more queens and you end up with multiple queen colonies and the nest just takes off. And we've seen some yellow jacket nests that have gotten like 10 feet high and, and maybe 25 feet across. And those can be really dangerous if you step into one of those. So a close relative of the yellow jacket is the hornet. And this is where they're nest, which is, of course, above ground. Would you show us what, what this is and how yeah, this I couldn't, works? I, I couldn't dig out a yellow jacket nest, so <laughs> I, I went for the easier one, which is, a, which is a hornet nest. Well, this is like what would occur underneath the, uh, underneath the ground. Uh -huh. It's covered in kind of a paper material. And that means if you try to spray it, the spray just runs off. Right. So it's, uh, it's very difficult to control. If I open it up, there are layers of combs in here, and you can see that this particular nest probably had several hundred yellow jackets in it, and the larvae are located in the cells of each, each, one, of these, uh, each one of these combs. Here's a comb that I pulled out, and you can see it has an attachment, and that is usually covered with chemicals so ants can't come and eat the larvae on the inside, mm -hmm. and then the, the yellow jackets can come and tend the larvae. Mm. Uh, I killed off one yellow jacket nest under the ground, and I was going to go back and dig it up the next day, but, but raccoons beat me to it. Ah. So you know that the sting is something that they use to protect the nest. Indeed. All right. Well, all of these are nature's warning signs. Stay away. We are out of time. So many other things we could talk about. Thank you, though, Dr. Phil Kaler. Okay.